Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Balu Master. Today I am going to discuss differentiation part 2. Where it is JE 2020 January all shifts. So this is a part 2 friends. Already part 1 we done in the previous session. Coming to here friends, the first question is let y is equals to y of x be a function of x satisfying y root 1 minus x square is equals to k minus x root 1 minus y square where k is constant y of 1 by 2 equal to minus 1 by 4 then dy by dx at x is equals to 1 by 2. So very simple question friends this is just what you are going to do means first of all here given y and y of x both are same functions they are given. So y is nothing but y of x we can call that is given and y into root 1 minus x square is equals to k minus x root 1 minus y square one function given and dy by dx at x equal to 1 by 2 they are asking by using this condition. So how you are going to solve very normal procedure just you have to apply differentiate with respect to x. Of course here y is there here also y is there means 2 dy by dx you will get it. You are going to apply uv and here also uv you will get 2 dy by dx keep one side and remaining value send the other side then you will get it dy by dx afterwards uh, dy by dx x is equals to 1 by 2 they are asking how we are going to use this condition we will see friends first target uh, you have to find out to dy by dx coming to here sir friends let us take y into root 1 minus x square is equals to k minus x into root 1 minus y square so differentiate with respect to x so uv I am applying u into derivative of v root x derivative 1 by 2 root x function of function 1 minus x square derivative 1 x 1 derivative 0 minus x square derivative minus 2x plus v into y derivative is dy by dx is equals to constant derivative 0 minus so minus is there that's what you are going to apply uv that's what keep bracket maintain bracket here so u into root x derivative 1 by 2 root x function of function 1 minus y square derivative 1 derivative 0 minus y square derivative minus 2y function of function dy by dx plus root 1 minus y square into x derivative is 1 no need to write now what happened friends 2 and 2 get cancelled of course here also 2 and 2 get cancelled minus this minus will get here y into x xy minus xy by root 1 minus x square plus root 1 minus x square dy by dx is equals to so now I want to multiply with negative sign minus into minus plus xy by root 1 minus y square into dy by dx minus into plus minus root 1 minus y square now as per rule what you are going to do friends dy by dx all dy by dx keep one side remaining terms keep other side so dy by dx i am taking common friends so root 1 minus x square dy by dx keep this side and take common minus xy by root 1 minus y square is equals to this negative term i am going to keep it outside that is what xy by root 1 minus x square minus root 1 minus y square now i am going to simplify this step friends dy by dx into so if you take lcm root 1 minus x square into root 1 minus y square minus xy whole by root 1 minus y square is equals to here also the same thing it is going on xy minus root 1 minus y square into root 1 minus x square whole by root 1 minus x square friends Friends, if you observe the numerator part, this and this will be same, but one difference, negative sign will be different. This is xy minus, this is minus xy. That's what, anywhere you can take minus common, then you can able to cancel. If you take minus common and cancel, you are getting dy by dx is equals to minus, I am taking minus common and cancel, then this root 1 minus y square will go here. So root 1 minus y square by root 1 minus x square friends. Now dy by dx in your hand friends that is the meaning dy by dx at x equal to 1 by 2 they are asking. Yes friends x you are going to substitute 1 by 2. So what is this meaning friends? So x is equals to 1 by 2 okay friends but the function it is there in terms of y also. That's what the relation given friends. So the meaning of y of 1 by 2 equal to minus 1 by 4 whenever x has 1 by 2 whenever x has 1 by 2 y value should take 
minus 1 by 4 that is the meaning friends so what we can able to take friends therefore here x is equals to 1 by 2 you consider and y is equals to you consider minus 1 by 4 so x value 1 by 2 and y value minus 1 by 4 you substitute and evaluate the answer friends then which option you are getting post your answer in your comment box coming to second question friends the value of c in the lmvt lmvt means lagrange's mean value theorem lagrange's mean value theorem of course lagrange's mean value theorem and mean value theorem both will be equal for the function f of x equal to x cube minus 4x square plus 8x plus 11 where x belongs to close 0 1 they are asking the value of c whenever lagrange's theorem is holds so first of all you have to know what is the lagrange's mean value theorem very simple friends lagrange's mean value theorem is it satisfies two conditions condition number one f should be continuous in closed interval a b f should be differentiable in open interval a b and the third one, f of a and f of b both should be not equals to 0. Whenever f of a, f of b not equals to 0, then Lagrange's mean value theorem will be exists. If f of a and f of b both will be equal, that time Rolle's theorem will be exists, friends. And you have to check f of a and f of b. If both are not equal, then, then there exists c belongs to open interval a, b. Then there exists c belongs to open interval a, b such that such that f dash of c is equals to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. This is the Lagrange's mean value theorem, friends. So what are the conditions, friends? f continuous, f differentiable. This is in closed interval, open interval. And f of a, f of b, if you check, both should be not equals to zero. Whenever these three conditions will be satisfied, then LMVT is exists. How it is exists? There exists one c belongs to open a, b. That's the only we want. Uh, whenever f dash of c is equals if you take this condition by taking this condition you have to prove the value of c that c should belongs to open interval of a comma b whereas here instead of a and b they are given as closed interval 0 and 1 they are given as 0 and 1 so now f of x is which kind of function friends f of x is a polynomial of degree 3 f of x is a polynomial of degree 3 friends that's what every polynomial function is continuous as well as indifferentiable you have continuous friends as well as differentiable very clearly you have satisfies both the conditions next coming to third condition check it f of a f of b both are different or equal let us check friends f of a so what is the value of a zero f of zero is equals to zero 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 eleven f of 1 is equals to 1 cube 1 minus 4 into 1 square 4 plus 8 plus 11. 11 plus 8, 19. 19 plus 1, 20. 20 minus 4, 16 friends this is. So if you observe f of a and f of b which are both are not equal. So f of 0 is not equals to f of 1. Yes friends Lagrange's mean value theorem will be exists. That's what by using this condition let us find out the value of c. What is the condition? f dash of c. If you want f dash of c you have to find out f dash of x. What is f dash of x for this question friends? f dash of x is equals to x cube derivative of 3x square minus 4 into x square derivative of 2x, 2x into 4, 8x. Then 8x derivative is 8. Then f dash of c becomes f dash of c is nothing but 3c square minus 8c plus 8 is equals to f of b minus f of a f of b is what f of 1 f of a is what f of 0 so why because this is f of a this is a value this is b value that's what this is f of a and this is what f of b so f of b minus f of a means f of 1 minus f of 0 by b minus a 1 minus 0 friends so that's what uh, 3c square minus 8c plus 8 is equals to f of 1 value just now we done so f of 1 is equals to 16 minus f of 0 is 11 by 1 minus 0 is 1 so that's what 3c square minus 8c plus 8 is equals to 16 minus 11 that's what 5 3c square minus 8c 8 minus 5 plus 3 is equals to 0 now the roots formula is c is equals to minus b plus r minus minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 
2a this is the formula friends so that's what uh, c is equals to minus b minus of minus plus 8 plus r when square root of minus 8 whole square 64 minus 4ac 4 into 3 into 3 so 4 into 3 into 3 means 9 into 4 36 by 2 into a 2 into a means 33 so that's what 8 plus or minus 28 by 2 into 3 6 that can be written as 8 plus or minus 20 written as 4 into 7 that's what 2 root 7 by 6 this is what you are going to write 4 plus minus root 7 by 3 friends now if you see there are two values exist for c what are the values 1 c is equals to 1 c is equals c is equals to 1 value 4 plus root 7 by 3 and one more value is 4 minus root 7 by 3 friends so from these two so two options also given from these two which value is exists very very important friends according to our definition there exists a c which is belongs to open a b that's what from these two results which result which is belongs to open 0 1 check it friends which result which result is open 0 1 that result only will be exists just to simplify approximate value consider for root 7 then let us look at uh, from these two results only one result only lies between 0 and 1 so check it the answer and uh, tick the answer Please give your answer in comment box in the third question friends let f of x is equals to sine of tan inverse x plus sine of cot inverse x whole square minus 1 where mod x greater than 1 and dy by dx equal to 1 by 2 into dy by dx of sine inverse of f of x. If y of root 3 equal to 5 by 6 then what about y of minus root 3 that is your question friends. First of all let us uh, try to simplify f of x friends. Why because they are asking sine inverse of f of x. If you want to substitute here means first of all let us simplify f of x so how you are going to simplify this f of x very simple calculation friends f of x is equals to a sin of tan inverse x plus sin of cot inverse x can be written as pi by 2 minus tan inverse x friends because you have a formula tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equals to pi by 2. Now if you want cot inverse x means this can be written as pi by 2 minus tan inverse x because of that cot inverse I substituted pi, my, pi by 2 minus tan inverse x whole square minus 1. This is what you are going to write sin of tan inverse x plus sin 90 minus theta. Sin 90 minus theta is nothing but cos theta cos of tan inverse x. Now if you see sin theta plus cos theta whole square just it is of the form friends a plus b whole square formation. a plus b whole square can be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. So a square sin square let it be called tan inverse x as theta then sin square theta plus cos square theta 1 according to trigonometric identities plus 2 into a square plus b square plus 2ab 2 into a into b 2 sin theta cos theta that's what a sin 2 theta theta is what tan inverse x minus 1 then very clearly minus 1 and plus 1 will be cancelled then you are going to get a f, of, f of x simplest formation sin of 2 tan inverse x friends now oh, if you want to simplify means if you want to use this result y of root 3 equal to pi by 6 means uh, you want what about y. So dy by dx is given you want y means uh, nothing is there friends very simple you have to apply integration. If you Now if you apply integration friends integral dy by dx is nothing but y that is equals to 1 by 2 times of 1 by 2 constant integral of derivative is nothing but integral derivative will be cancelled sin inverse of f of x plus integration constant c now y can be written as 1 by 2 into sin inverse of f of x now they are given friends if y of root 3 is equals to pi by 6 what is this meaning I told already in the first question so the meaning is whenever x takes root 3 value that time y value will be pi by 6 whenever x is root 3 that time y value is pi by 6 that is the meaning so that's what uh, so whenever x takes root 3 means x is equals to root 3 you have to substitute and y is equals to substitute pi by 6 friends 
whenever x is root 3 that time y value is pi by 6 then substitute these values here so y is equals to pi by 6 is equals to 1 by 2 into sine inverse of f of root 3 plus c now you are going to find out uh, f of root 3 value f of x is already is there that's what you can able to find out f of root 3 very easily now, now f of root 3 is equals to so sin of 2 times of sin 2 into tan inverse of root 3 friends x as root 3 that's what instead of x i substitute as root 3 that's what sin of 2 tan inverse root 3 nothing but tan inverse root 3 is equals to pi by 3 tan 60 is equals to root 3 that's what tan inverse of tan theta theta pi by 3 so sin 2 pi by 3 sin 2 pi by 3 can be written as sin pi minus pi by 3 so that is what the result sin 180 minus theta is nothing but sin theta that is what sin pi by 3 sin don't simplify this one friends why because you have sin inverse here i want to substitute f of root 3 value here directly that's what sin inverse of sin pi by 3 i'm going to get directly pi by 3 so now if i substitute here pi by 6 is equals to 1 by 2 into sin inverse of f of root 3 sin pi by 3 sin inverse of sin theta nothing but theta pi by 3 plus c so if you see pi by 6 is equals to pi by 6 plus c that's what c value you are getting zero friends so whenever c value you are getting zero that c value substitute in the function y so c0 means uh, your required function is y is equals to 1 by 2 into sine inverse of f of x now they are asking what they are asking friends f of minus root 3 they are asking means the meaning is x is equals to minus root 3 if x is equals to minus root 3 what about the value of y that is the question so y is equals to 1 by 2 into sine inverse of f of minus root 3 just now we done friends f of root 3 we are getting sine of minus sine of pi by 3 then f of minus root 3 means you are going to get minus sine pi by 3 so sine inverse of minus sine theta so minus sine inverse of sine theta that's what you are getting the result is minus pi by 3 that is equals to minus pi by 6 so whenever x has minus root 3 that time the result y is equals to minus pi by 6 friends so which option correct friends second option is correct friends this kind of questions are not difficult questions these are very easy questions but bit lengthy questions that's it okay so that's all for today's class friends thank you very much friends thanks a lot